Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Rennie and I'm here with a demonstration on how to make a pinch pot which is one of the most simple clay vessels that you could make. Um, so it's good to begin with a ball of clay that fits comfortably in the palm of your hand and I'm just going to press my thumb into that clay and now we already have a vessel, right? It is a container now, it could hold liquid or objects, but it's not really using the material efficiently. So we need to pinch that material upwards, hence the name, uh, pinch pot. So I start at the very bottom and I want to keep this thing moving in a circular motion so I'm rotating it and I keep my thumbs on the inside and I'm pinching upwards towards the rim of the piece and it's important to be conscious of you don't want your piece to flare too far outwards. So as I'm pinching upwards, I'm trying to keep the clay going straight up and not flared out so I can c control when it goes outwards rather than it sort of just happening accidentally, which, which sometimes the clay has a tendency to want to just flare out as you pinch it. So our goal is to not make a perfect object necessarily, but we're trying to just get the material evenly up and evenly distributed throughout the piece so we're trying to um, not have a super super thin spot next to a super super thick spot it's okay if there's some you know variation because it is a handmade object uh, but we do want to get it as even as possible so I've got the piece up now and I'm moving around I've got a hand at the bottom and I'm kind of rounding out that bottom a little bit because I'm going to make sort of a, almost like a goblet, basically. So people sometimes talk about the pinch pot as the most rudimentary vessel, or the most basic vessel, um, but maybe, maybe that's not true. Maybe the most basic vessel is when you take two hands and you cup them together in a bowl shape, and then you can scoop water out from a lake or from under a faucet up to your mouth. That to me is the most basic vessel, but to implement another material such as clay, such, such as clay, this would probably be the most basic vessel you could make out of clay. Um, one thing I'm doing now is I'm just pinching that rim a little bit to kind of have a, a, a little bit thinner point to, my, to, to maybe make that a little bit easier to drink from. So I've got the main body made, and what I'll do now is I'll actually create a tall foot so I can give this thing some lift. So I'm just taking a little ball of clay, and I'll do the same thing basically. Put my thumb into it, and I'll make a tiny, tiny pinch pot. So I'm going around and around and around, pinching that upwards. And then this will act as my foot for the piece. So now what I'll do is I'll score a little bit. Um, so you want to dip your tool in some water. I just have like a little skewer that I'm using. You could use either a needle tool or a fork or um, anything really sharp. We just want to scratch into that clay. And I dipped my tool in a little bit of water. And I'm scratching both sides and then I'm going to stick them together. Now if this part is giving you too much trouble, you might want to wait till your pieces set up a little bit separately and then you can put them together. Um, but now you can see I have this cup with a big tall foot and a little bit of lift on it. Helps bring it up off the table. And then next I'll put a handle on it in just a minute.
So now I'll make a handle by uh, pinching out a little bit of clay and then I'll start rolling that into a coil. And the trick with coils is to use just a little bit of pressure, mostly the weight of my hands. If you press too hard, it'll flatten out uh, and make it hard to roll. Um, but now I'm actually going to intentionally flatten it out for this handle. So I'll press that down with the palm of my hand. I'll cut down a little bit. And then I might stretch this out just a hair by kind of throwing it down at an angle. You can see if I, if I come down at close to a 45 degree angle, it'll help me stretch that out. Uh, but then I actually, I like to just run my thumb along the side to give it a slight bevel and throwing it down is going to help me even it out and I always make my handle much longer than I need so I can cut down a portion that's going to fit so you can kind of curve that around here stand it up to make a uh, figure out what that curve is going to be for your handle and then cut down any unneeded clay that's looking good and then now is a good time to figure out where it's going to sit on your pot so I'll, I'll score the handle scratch 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 then I'll score the vessel, dip my scoring tool in a little bit of water, and then to attach it, you want to really press good. So there you have it, a pinch pot with a tall foot and a handle. Thanks for joining.